happy people i'm back with another video and today i have another poly gel kit review for you all as you all know i have been enjoying doing poly gel nails on my channel it's kind of an unexpected love that kind of happened and i'm becoming pretty good at poly gel nails if i must say so myself so yeah um double dip was kind enough to send me another one of their poly gel kits and you guys it's another glitter kit yes i can't get enough of it so here is the kit here okay so they were kind enough to send me their glam poly gel kit all right and y'all we gonna glam it out in this look i am so excited so yeah let's see what we got inside here yes okay so you all know right off the bat i say this in every single unboxing i do for double dip but their packaging is absolutely stunning so yeah really love the packaging here okay and then we're gonna hop right on into these and see what we got um so you all know the inside oh the gorgeousness that is it says oh hey beauty life ain't perfect but your nails can be and ain't that right okay um so yes we have the uh card that comes in all the kits it says it's nail time and then it talks about the different lengths i'm actually i'm trying out a different length right now so i want to see how long this one is okay it's a one inch it's a one inch tip so okay i'm pretty used to doing one inches and y'all see on this hand over here I have a little shorty, so we got half an inch. So y'all see, I'm pretty versatile. I can do long, I can do short, I can do it all, okay? So we have this, I really like this little card. I normally keep it at my desk. These are all the beautiful colors here, but I'm gonna get back to this in just a second. First, I wanna show you all all the extra goodies that come in these kits. As per usual, all the kits come with the instruction manual. Double Dip always hooks you up with their poly gel kits with all the extra goodies. So let's show you all really quick what comes in here. So you do get the mini LED lamp, okay? Um, it also comes with these nail extension clips, which is good for holding like a tip or a dual form in place. It comes with some tweezers. Y'all, these tweezers here are really high quality. I really, really like these tweezers. It also comes with some really amazing slip solution. I really enjoy the Double Dip Bella Vina um, slip solution. You know, it, it won't be complete without a little bit of bling. So they do include a bling box here that has different colors. There's pink. There's a light blue, black, and clear. It comes with their um, gel base and top coat, which again, love the packaging, super looks, super beautiful. Um, for the um, lamp, it has their um, poly gel brush here, okay? A nice luxe looking, has the logo, brush on one end, spatula on the other. It also has a file. And then it comes with a case of dual forms. So all of these come with the kit. Now let's get into these poly gel swatches, okay? These are all the colors that come in the kit. I'm gonna go ahead and open them all up. I have my swatch sticks here. I'm gonna get them swatched for you guys. Here's the color 105. Very beautiful silver glitter. Here's the color 110. Here's the color 111. The color 127. Here's the color 132. And here's the color 133. Okay, so I just wanna swatch one of the colors with you guys here on camera, just so you all can see how easy it is to work with these poly gels. I've worked with them plenty of times now. Really like the consistency of them. But yeah, these are good to just go ahead and push back. And they're of a stiffer consistency, which I really appreciate. Makes them super easy to work with and super easy to swatch um yeah so this is a beautiful glitter color here that gold glitter but look how easy that is to work with yeah love it so i'm gonna go ahead and swatch the rest of these off camera and i'll be right back okay so all of the colors have been swatched uh so it did start raining since i've started recording this so if you all hear some thundering in the background i apologize for that in advance but yeah let's hope my power doesn't go off while i'm filming here but anywho let's go ahead and take a look at this beautiful collection so again, um, we have um, the color 105, okay? 
and that is what this color looks like swatch it is like a really beautiful silver glittery color I just I think double dip slash Bella Vina does really good with glitters especially when it comes to their poly gels like absolutely loving it so and also with their dip powders too now that I'm thinking about it they do really good with glitters so the next color here is 110 okay and it's this really beautiful blue um, glittery color here and I just love how this looks y'all like I feel like this color along with that silver well, along with that silver would be really cute for like some Independence Day nails and even going along with that this red here this 111 right so that um, those other two colors like if we talking Independence Day nail 4th of July nails like really pure beautiful it's a nice beautiful red color here with some glitters we also have the 127 okay so it's a really nice uh, gold glitter and the glitter in this gold is like a hollow glitter really really beautiful like I'm loving how these colors look and then we also have the 132 so the 132 and the 133 so these are the last two colors here these are actually in their dazzling collection so I actually have both of these already but I'm not complaining I'm happy to have them again because these colors are absolutely stunning you guys so this is the 132 here let me show you them individually that's that beautiful green like I mentioned last time I really think this would be really cute for like some St. Patty Day nails and then this beautiful aqua blue just I mean isn't this gorgeous though oh this is still probably one of my favorite glitters that they have I just even out of this collection this is the one I'm still drawn to but yeah so here are the colors all here in swatched what I'm gonna do is try to think about what design I want to do and I'll be right back okay happy people I am back and I am ready to go so y'all know I have really been enjoying doing the lazy girl method so that's what I'm gonna hop right on in and do I'm actually going to do an Easter set um, my nail tips have already been prepped I'm gonna try to do an ombre glitter nail I want to do some ombre glitter nails with this set so I do have a couple of the poly gels picked out so these two have come from the um, glam collection that I just swatched for you guys and this one here actually came from their classic poly gel kit so I am going to leave um, links to all of the poly gel kits that I've reviewed from Bella Vina Double Dip down in the description box in case you guys want to check them out. I'm going to do a glitter ombre on all the nails. I'm going to do green on all the nails except for my index in which I'm going to do the gold glitter. And then I also have some green Easter stickers you guys. So I want to try and put these to use and create some really cute Easter nails for you guys. First what I'm going to do to prep my nails. Um, I am going to be using a peel off base coat but I want to try a different method. I want to dehydrate my natural nail first. I'm going to go in with a dehydrator here and just dehydrate my natural nails okay and I just want to see how long um, of where I can get with my peel off base coat when I kind of slightly prep the nails if that makes sense so I'm gonna do that here really quick you can use a primer dehydrator or you can just take some regular alcohol and dehydrate the nail and then from there I'm gonna go in with my favorite peel off base coat this is the Moran peel off base coat and apply it to all the nails so I can have easy removal so let's hop right on into this y'all know I've been trying to perfect my lazy girl method and so the thing with this one is right I've actually not done a true ombre before so that's what I'm gonna attempt to do so I am gonna go in with this green color here okay and let's take it off here and again you guys with the lazy girl method a little bit goes a very very long way so you really don't need much at all so my goal is gonna be to get the ombre to come down to maybe like about here okay and then the rest I'm gonna have like the natural nail bed so I'm gonna try to do maybe I think this much I think this should be enough this might actually be too much still but that's what we're working with here I'm gonna break out this um, the brush here along with the slip solution which I actually really enjoy this uh, slip solution it works quite well with this poly gel and then I'm gonna have my spatula side ready to go too because this is what I will use to scrape off any access so I'm gonna go in with this brush here and um, with the lazy girl method you guys I found that it's really easy to just push the poly gel where you want it to go so for instance I'm just gonna push it well, let me get some more here for instance I'm just gonna push it all the way back here to about here 
And then the rest of this, I'm just gonna push to the sides to get it nice and flat. And then kind of just smooth it out after that, right? So, okay. So it's seeming like this, this kit in particular, it seems like the poly gels are a little bit stickier than the other ones that I've tried from Bellavina Double Dip. So that's kind of new. But yeah, that's already good to go. That's so it's so crazy how quick and easy the Lazy Girl method is. Like I really enjoy this method. So this is my fourth time total doing um, the Lazy Girl method poly gel nails. And so if you guys want to see my struggle bus first couple attempts, <laughs> I will leave that link um, down in the description box. But yeah, I just I struggled the first few times I did it and then after I got it I got it you know so since this is an ombre nail I kind of want to thin this part out here at the bottom okay just to kind of have it sort of kind of be an ombre so just like that and I hope that, that looks like an ombre underneath I'm just gonna kind of look under and see I think that should be pretty good so I'm gonna leave that like that. So I think this looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and go in with my next color here. Or should I carry it? I don't know. Let's see. Okay, I'm actually gonna go ahead and flash cure this for about 10 seconds, just to kind of cure it in place. I am gonna be using the Bellavina Double Dip Mini LED Lamp that came with the kit here. I'm just gonna flash cure that for about 10 seconds here. Okay, so now that that's been flash cured, I am gonna go in with number 14 and use that to be my ombre color along with um, using it to adhere to my natural nail. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get some here. So yeah, this, okay, so I was correct. The glitter in this glam collection is a lot stickier than what I'm used to from Bellavina Double Dip. So yeah, just keep that in mind. But yeah, this one is moving and working a lot smoother than the other one did. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just move this here. And once you have the poly gel kind of from sidewall to sidewall, and make sure it's covering everything up, you wanna go ahead and remove it from the base here and apply it to your natural nail, okay? And with the Lazy Girl method, you guys, um, I've noticed that when you do um, light pressure, light pressure, light pressure, that's how you're able to get it to adhere without too much seepage. Now I'm gonna take my slip solution and just go around and clean up that cuticle area here. I'm just gonna go around and clean up anything that might have fallen out of the nail and just take that out and put it to the side here. Like so, and then I'm gonna go underneath the nail and smooth it out. I think I applied just enough, which is awesome. And then again, I'm just gonna come around here and just make sure it's applied properly. Like so, it looks good to me. Okay. That's perfect. And once you have it lined up properly, you'll wanna go ahead and cure it for a full 60 seconds. So I'm gonna cure it in this lamp here. All right, y'all, I think I'm getting pretty good at this Lazy Girl situation. I'm liking how this is looking so far. Y'all see that was a perfect application here. Okay, and I did forget to tell you all where I got my nail tips from. So I did get my nail tips from Amazon. These are some full cover XXL square tips that I'm using. And um, I forgot to also prep the base. This is my first time actually using XXL nails. And so on this index finger, I did forget to put a base coat on the inside so that the poly gel can properly adhere to it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And this is just so that the poly gel doesn't separate from the nail tip um, during application and then while you're wearing it. I finished carrying my base coat, now I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of the application process. Again, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this 132 color, this green glitter, 
and I'm gonna apply it to like half of the nail or like maybe three fourths of the nail, like so. And then just kind of come all the way down to the tip with it. And that should be enough. I'm just apply this a little bit more. Okay, so that should be enough. And then now I'm gonna go in with my slip solution here and go ahead and move this to where I want it to be to create that nice and perfect ombre. Again, this 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 particular uh, kit, these glitters in here, they do seem to be a little bit stickier than the other kits from Bella Vina Double Dip, which is throwing me off a little bit because they're they're normally really easy to work with. Which this isn't too bad to work with either, but like I said, it's just kind of stickier than what I'm used to. So yeah, you just want to come through and smooth it out, making sure the poly gel is hitting side wall to side wall. Okay, like so. And then from there, you'll smooth it out. Okay, perfect. And then from there, you wanna come through and ombre the bottom of the glitter here. So just bring it down a bit and kind of like fade it out in a sense, like so. And then it helps to kind of look at the, the front of the nail too while you're doing that. Kind of make sure it's faded out nicely. Okay. So that's what it looks like so far. And that looks good to me. So I'm actually going to just flash cure this for about 10 seconds. Okay. All right, so now that that's been flash cured, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the other color here and you just need a little bit and then this is what I'm gonna use to finish ombreing it out and then also adhering to my natural nail, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and push this where I want it to be. Again, this is super easy to work with. Right here and over here. Okay, that's perfect. Want to thin it out a little bit, make sure it's sidewall to sidewall. Okay, that looks good to me. All right, now I'm going to go in and apply it to my natural nail. All right, and then the key is to apply light pressure, slight pressure, slight pressure. Okay, and you just want to keep doing that. And then any seepage that comes out, you'll just want to come around the cuticle area and just clean that up, okay? Or sometimes what I do, I don't know if you all want to do this too, but if it's like here at the base of the nail and I notice that the color on the nail bed is kind of thin, sometimes I'll just go ahead and um, kind of like go over top of the nail with the poly gel. I don't know if y'all can see what I'm doing here, but the seepage, I kind of just take it from like my actual skin and then just kind of put it on top of the nail, if that makes sense. And I do that sometimes just because, you know, it might not look too full, you know? Like so. And then just kind of smooth it out. All right, so that's just a little tip if you all might want to try that method as well. But yeah, this looks good to me, so I'm going to go ahead and cure this for a full 60 seconds here. Yeah, that's beautiful. Look at that. Wow. Okay, let me cure this for 60 seconds. So that's what nail number two is looking like. Now I'm going to go in with the gold and um, repeat the same process, you guys. Like, this is really easy to do. I really hope that the gold is a little bit less sticky though because so I'm a little thrown off at how sticky that green is. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go in with this gold. I'm going to kind of start halfway up the nail and then just stop here and just push it. Okay, this is the consistency that I'm used to. I think maybe it's just that green poly gel in the kit that's a little bit stickier. Maybe they made it uh, with a different formulation. but. Yeah, this is the, the consistency I'm used to. It's stiff, not sticky, easy to move around. You know, you can kind of push it where you need it to be. So, yeah, that is that. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish patting that into place.
All right, and that's looking pretty good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and cure for 60 seconds. All right, y'all, she looking real cute, okay? I am loving the glitter situation so far. Like, this is cute. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the same process for the green nails on these two fingers, and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so I have finished applying all of my nails. I went ahead and did the pinky and thumbnail off camera, and y'all, I am loving how this is looking so far. Like, how did I do on my ombre? I think I did pretty darn good. This is looking absolutely gorge, okay? So next one I'm gonna go in and do, so underneath the nail, you all know there's that sticky inhibition layer. When you're working with poly gels, I am gonna go ahead and top coat the underneath of my nails. In the past, I've rubbed it with alcohol and let it be, and I noticed that like dust and stuff still collects underneath the nails, so I found it better to just go ahead and um, apply top coat to it just to seal it in so that I don't have to kind of worry about that. And do y'all see how beautiful these glitters are looking? Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous, wow. Yeah, that's really pretty, oh my goodness. Yeah, y'all, I'm loving this Lazy Girl Method, okay? I'm so glad I stuck with it and didn't give up on it because, y'all, it's so easy to do your nails like this. Like, why didn't anyone tell me? Oh my goodness. I see why so many people love this method and use this method. So I'm going to go ahead, like I said, and do top coat to underneath all the nails. And I'll be back and we're going to go ahead and deck these nails out, okay? Okay, so the underside of the nails have been cured and then I don't have to worry about any stickiness or anything like that underneath the nail. And then next, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and file shape and buff the nails. So I do have my file. I do have my buffer. I'm just going to go ahead and shape them just to kind of crisp and everything up. But honestly, the shape is really good already, so I don't really need to do much. All right, y'all, so the nails have been filed, shaped, and buffed. They are ready to go. Okay, so we're just gonna do like this. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and top coat all the nails, and then we'll go ahead and start applying the stickers and bling them out, okay? So I got the Bella Vena slash Double Dip Top Coat here. Okay, and let's do these nails, y'all. I'm excited about these glitter because it's gonna look so cute. I can already feel it. Wow. Did you guys just see that? Did you guys just see that? Holy smokes, this is beautiful. I absolutely love the Double Dip Bella Vina glitters, the Poly Gel glitters. Like, I just, they just do glitter so freaking well. It's not even funny. Like, oh my goodness. Do you guys see this? Wow. I just, let's take a moment though. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Let me, let me continue. But this is just so beautiful. Absolutely love this. That reveal is just gorgeous. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. All right, you guys. So the top coat has been applied and oh my God, are you all as mesmerized by this glitter as I am? This stuff is absolutely stunning. Oh my gosh. Yes, okay, I'm loving, loving, loving this set so far. So let's see, I do have these two um, stickers for Easter and then I also have, um, let's see, some green rhinestones here. So y'all, we're gonna go ahead and deck these nails out. I'm debating on which one I wanna use. 
I feel like they're both kind of cute. I've been wanting to do some collage nails for a while. I've seen um, Nails by Nelly and then La Nails by Lene um, do some collage nails where they just put like a ton of stickers on the nail. And so I kind of want to try that look out and see um, if I can get it to look good too. Because I normally just do like one or two stickers per nail. So let's see how we can get this going. So these, like I said, are going to be the Easter nails. I'm trying to decide. I actually, I wanted to use this color for Happy Easter, but I might actually end up using the black. Let me just start with that though. Okay. So, I'm gonna put Happy Easter right here. I feel like you can really see it though. So I don't think I'm gonna use the sticker actually. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use the black so you can really see it. I just want to put it right across here. Yeah, it's cute. I like that. So you just put it down and press it on. Yeah, that's cute. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna go through and just add different eggs and and such to the nail. Okay. All right, y'all, so this is what we have going on. All right, this is coming together nicely. I went ahead and added some more stickers to the rest of the nail, and then y'all know my sets wouldn't be complete without a little bling, so I did go in with um, this bling that I showed you all earlier. So I went in with these light, um, this light green rhinestones here, and then I used these cute little pearls here at the cuticle area. And then on my ring finger and my thumb, I actually went into my little pinwheel here and I found this cute little bow right here, y'all. And I put that on the ring finger right above Happy Easter. Is that that cute? And then I also put it on the thumbnail. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and all these cuticles, y'all. And we gonna, we, gonna, we gonna get into this set, okay? We gonna get into it. All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this set. Y'all see my Easter nails here. This is my first time doing a glitter ombre using a lazy girl method on some XXL tips, y'all. And I'm loving how it turned out. Like, what do y'all think? Like, happy Easter in advance. And I am just loving how this turned out. Like, do y'all see the sparkle? Do y'all see the glitter? Oh my gosh. Yeah, these poly gels were awesome to work with. And y'all see my little bling activity here on the sides? Okay. Yeah, I really like how this set turned out. This was a lot of fun to do. And like I said, this also was my first time doing like a collage nail um, with multiple stickers. And I just, I had a lot of fun with it. So I definitely think I'm gonna be trying that again in the future. My final thoughts on this Double Dip Slash Bella Vina um, Poly Gel Kit. I enjoyed working with it. I will say this green glitter in particular, I'm not sure why, but it was a little bit sticky. That's not true for all of the poly gels with um, Bella Vina Slash Double Dip. Most of them, they're of a firmer consistency and they're not as sticky. Just that green one, I'm not sure why was, but the rest of them, they work beautifully. So I had a lot of fun with this set. I am loving all of their glitter poly gels, y'all. I just have so much fun working with them and they just allow me to be so creative. And so, yeah, I like this kit. Um, if you all are interested in any of the Bella Vina Double Dip products, um, I do have a discount code. I'll leave it here on the screen. Y'all can feel free to use it if you want when you shop on their website and you'll get like 20% off. So yeah. Um, I highly recommend them. I do really enjoy them and their kits come with a lot of goodies. So yeah, and I think they're still having the promotion right now where if you order any poly gel kit from their website, you'll get the butterfly nail decal kit free at no charge. So yeah, if you all want to check them out, you should. But yeah, y'all, ain't this set so cute? I love it. I want to know your thoughts down in the comments below. Let me know what y'all are thinking about my little 
Easter set slash spring set. And if y'all are curious about this set over here, I will be premiering this look next Thursday at my premiere um, at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. So definitely if you all wanna see how I got this look and what products I used, I actually used the Madam Glam gel polishes, y'all. Just, yeah, make sure y'all tune in next week to hear my thoughts, but yeah, y'all. Um, so yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Let me know which set is your favorite, honestly. I'm loving both of these sets for different reasons. Um, again, y'all, these XXL tips, they are, it's a lifestyle, okay? Let's talk about this. I have been struggling trying to pick up anything or put anything down since I applied these tips, okay? And this was my first time doing stiletto on this hand and I, I managed quite well. So this is a lifestyle. So for my nail sisters out there, and y'all know who y'all are, who rock these long, extra, extra long, even extra, 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 extra long nails, I got mad, mad respect for y'all. I got a lot of respect for y'all because this is, it's, it's a whole lifestyle, okay? So I do plan to keep these on for a few days and then I'm gonna go ahead and pop them off. Uh, but yeah, I had so much fun making this set. Thank you again to Double Dip slash Bellavina for sending me over that poly gel kit. I just, I absolutely love working with you all. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And yeah, if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.